What's going on, my people of YouTube? This is Hidden Angel Lionheart coming to you live once again with another brand new video. In this video, of course, you already know what's happening. It's another Duelist set opening of Yu-Gi-Oh! pack openings. That didn't come out right. But uh, yes, we're doing another deck box video, a brand new opening. And it's actually from a set that's actually been out for about maybe a month at least or close to it. And I just managed to get a hold of this today, and I'm actually quite happy. Not one, not two, not three, but our four boxes of the brand new one and only Legendary Duelist Duels from the Deep Team Samurai X. You can suck it! Considering... Now I messed up. I, I had a uh, mouth spasm uh, where I did not tongue-tie on this. Sam tongue-tied as he was trying to pronounce the name of this set. So I'm actually kind of excited because they brought back the Marenses and a lot of the old Mako Tsunamis stuff. And then you also got the Ultra Rare Forbidden Droplet and the Ghost Rare Silent Honor Arc. So I'm actually kind of excited. Hopefully we get to pull one of those bad boys. If we pull all of those, I will be actually very happy. And then you got some of the new Link Monsters in here for the Marenses deck. And since there's like four boxes here, I don't see why we wouldn't have a full deck at some point. So, um, without further ado, this set, it comes with, it actually is pretty cool looking. You got the Fortress Rail, the Kairushin, the Jellyfish, and then I think that's a Coral Reef. Then, the side of the box is actually pretty cool. It's really blue, like deep, deep blue. The set itself comes five cards per pack, 36 packs per box, and one rare card in every pack. So therefore, you're guaranteed something good out of each of these sets. So without further ado, since we picked that one up first, we're going to start with that box first. And without further ado, let's get started. Guys, wish me luck here. If we suck, we suck. If we don't, we don't. So actually, you know what? I'm going to just open this like this because... Uh, use my retard strength. That, that, was a, that was a joke, by the way, for those of you that watch my channel or are probably going to be watching it. Uh, yeah, there's kind of a bad inside joke about that whole comment right there. And a couple certain people will completely understand way, where I'm going with that. Um, okay, so this is actually pretty cool, not going to lie. So then let's start from the left. And without further ado, let's get started. So, with our first set, we are going to have five cards, of course, and then... Oh, Chaos number one. That's actually a nice one. Oh, right. Oh, Sea Stealth. That's a new one. Um, and considering this set... Oh, the Marin set. Wonder Heart. That's great. She actually looks really cool as a common. I'm not going to lie. I missed the Secret Rare version, but that'll do. So, there's our first Rare card. We got that. So then, here we go, here we go. I really should consider playing music when I do these. Saber Shark. Oh, yeah, but, oh, Marbled Rock. Leviah, Dragon Daedalus, Legendary Fisherman, and Citadel Whale. Well, Jesse Anderson from uh, Team Sam would actually enjoy this, considering he loves whales. But that's cool. But... That's weird. I don't know which one's the... That's 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 weird. So, you usually have one rare card. I don't know what the one rare card would have been except for Marbled Rock. Maybe. That's just my assumption. Ooh, Sea Angel. Oh, Rare Marincis Coral Anemone. That's cool. Ooh, Blue Tang, another whale. And, ooh, one of the Umi Field Spells. So, that's cool. I'm not going to lie, I actually have always liked water decks, and when I started learning how to play Marincess on Legendary Duelist uh, Link Evolution for Xbox and the other systems, ooh, Kairoshin's Dark Reef, that's a new... Oh, nice! We got Doom Kraken, that must be the effect version of the original Fiend Kraken monster, so we got a rare and a super rare. That's actually really lit. That is lit, guys. I'm not going to lie. That is actually really good. Um, but yeah, anyways, I was saying, I learned to play the Marenses deck, and it's a straight-up cyber water deck, and it's actually very cool and very unique. What the deck basically does, for those of you that watch my channel and you don't understand what it does, or if you do, I'm just going to explain it. Basically, what they do is, 
they, ooh, sharks, they basically link off themselves to start building their graveyard for their other link compatible or compatible compare compatible parents i think is the word i'm looking for or compatible equipment there we go compatible equipments basically like union monsters and when you have the field spell the, Mer the marincess field spell and you exceed some or not exceed summon uh ooh, that's a new one sleepy made it when you link summon into one of the marincess link monsters you can actually take the monsters from your graveyard and equip them to that link monster and i think you can fit at least up to three and that marincess monster gains 800 points per monster or it gains attack points off of those link monsters i mean if that's the case it's super broken Ooh, double fin shark yeah battle oh hello barian's chaos draw that's actually gonna work real well with a number 101 I actually have some of those as ultra rares, now that I think about it. But Double Fin Shark, that's actually pretty cool looking. Actually, now, this is actually pretty cool. Pretty cool for a super rare, not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, Marincess is, is meant to stack the graveyard to get your bigger beater beat stick of a Marincess monster out on the field to where it gets its effects off and it gets a crazy power bonus, like... It's wild. That deck is super wild. Ooh, more sharks. Okay, so anyway, in this deck, it's mainly a lot of fish monsters, Cybers, Marincess, and just a lot of OG stuff you would never expect to see. Honestly, they I actually like the fact that Konami actually did ooh, another Honor Dark. But the sad part is I think they only have um I'm um, I'm um, I'm um, I'm um, having a brain fart. They only have so, the number 101 is a ghost rare in this set. I could be wrong, though. Uh, I might have to look up the set again later. Let's rank up seven. Ugh. Rank up magic, the seventh one. That's actually a really good one, too, especially if it's a first draw. And basically what that spell does is if you draw it first turn, you can immediately activate it when it's your draw phase. Of course, since you're only stuck. Well, then again, I don't know how that would really work, considering you would draw into it if it's your opponent's turn. And it's your turn you drew into it. So... I don't know if it would get its effect off and off, but what it does is, for those of you that did not watch the uh, Zexel series, what that card does is if you draw into it on your turn, you can activate it immediately to Xyz summon without needing um, Xyz materials and another anemone. That's nice. And what the card does is you can Xyz summon without cost and then you can chaos Xyz evolution. So say you have Honor Arc, and your extra deck in the chaos number 101 silent honor dark you can immediately chaos exes into the chaos 101 or chaos number 101 so that way you got an ooh hello you're pretty nash knight so he had his own monster interesting very interesting but yeah, you base it's a broken spell. You can Xyz summon without materials and just using the one. And what it it only works for the Baryon number monsters, like numbers 101 through 107. So it would be kind of useless to use it in another Xyz deck that Chaos Xyz deck that doesn't revolve. Oh, hello. Mega Fortress Whale. That is an ultra. Ultra, ultra, ultra. That's actually cool. I'll have to read up on him later. But yeah, that's our first ultra rare. And then our regular rare. Yeah, that for second pack, we got gypped on a rare card. That's actually kind of evil. I'm not going to lie on that note. Uh, okay. So we go. Ooh, Bomb Shark. That's a good one. <gasps> Forbidden Droplet! Konami! Thank you! The Konami gods are with us. This is actually a $50 card right now, guys. So we are going to definitely sleeve that later. And number 71, Rebarian Shark. I have actually never seen him before. Then you got the Bahamut Shark. Man, I can't believe it. We got both. We got a Forbidden Droplet and the new Fortress Whale Monster. That is freaking lit. Considering Droplet is as expensive as the Ghost Rare Monster. So, since we've opened up a majority of these, we're just going to kind of just speed through this. Unless it's a card we've not seen, and I'll explain it. 
And plus, the Marenses cards are kind of tricky and a little complicated to figure out. Like, they have a bunch of mechanics to where they search for themselves to summon more of themselves. Seventh Eternity. Okay, I'll have to look into that. And, um... Basically, what it does is, or what they do is they search off of each other and they summon each other to just keep Link summoning. They're basically the water version of a Salaman Great deck. So think of it as the anti-Salaman Greats, but with a twist. A watery twist, at most. Haha. <laughs> then Bahamut Shark. Alright, that's it for the left pot side. So here we go for the right. Let's see what we got. Actually, liking the video isn't taking as long as the other ones. Um, Fisherman 2. Oh, Daedal. Oh, ooh, hello, Crystal Shark. You're pretty. Um, already. Then Daedalus goes to that pot. Wait a minute. Now I feel stupid. Yeah, that was the rare. I just didn't see it from the lighting. My lighting is kind of screwy at the moment if you guys kind of could tell i mean it's not that screwy i just couldn't see the writing on it for a minute so that was our other rare i felt like we got gypped like really konami you did us like that all right uh marincess bubble ring that's a new one i'll have to look into that and at some point in time i'm definitely going to be making a marincess deck profile but I'm still missing a couple other cards I will need. That's I'll need the Synet Minings, and you always want to run three in that deck. And I mean, it's pretty much a fun deck. I don't even... Oh, hello! Fish Sonar! Okay, yeah, that works with a lot of fish decks as well. Um, okay. Then we have our one rare on top of that. Actually, you know what? We're going to put these the ultras there the supers here and our regular rares right here so then yeah that's what we got i can't believe the first box was forbidden droplet i'm actually excited about that vomit shark rancis wave already i'm gonna have fun building marincess I need to get a whole brand new sleeve, brand new deck box for it to fit, fit the theme, and then just go off of that. Hummet Shark. That's uh, a one fully armored Black Ray Lancer. That's pretty freaking cool. Black Ray Lancer got a rank up. That's cool. I didn't even know he had a ranked up version, so that's a surprise to me. I will not lie on that note. And to make matters worse, I gotta be up in a few hours for work, and I said, screw it, electric jellyfish. Holy crap, that's actually a uh, effect version of the old vanilla, vanilla jellyfish. So, wait, is that a super or an ultra? Yeah, that's a super. And, um, anyways, I was saying, yeah, I gotta be up for work in a few hours, so I'm gonna be dragon but luckily i got a few another hour or two for sleep considering our time got changed for when we're supposed to go down in the mornings because new rule or whatever because i was always told to be there at a certain time and we weren't dropping until that later time and everyone's just like hey we're just gonna drop down this time like i wish you could have told me that i could have got an extra hour of sleep like <laughs> come on don't do a brother like that <laughs> Because our original cage down time for morning shifts was supposed to be like 7.30. But as I said, it's 8 o'clock instead. So I'm just like, oh, bad, I miss you right now. But yeah, so far, I still enjoy the job. I like it. It's rough. But I mean, things have been said, but I'm not going to repeat what's been said just out of professionalism. And I don't want to mess things up. Ooh, Marin says spring girl. Hello, you are a cutie, waifu material, and you're a super, so that's even better. All right, Seventh Eternity again. And Torrential Tribute, I remember how annoying that trap card was. Oh, shoot, that reminds me. I was watching um, Team Samurai X today, and I was watching their duel night, and um, Jesse got baited from Triff, and Triff basically pulled a Torrential Tribute on him, I think. It's either him 
or it was um Den Denzel or Dan Daniel or his name I can't remember his name, but he was part of the original Duel Knight cast along with Milano, Triff, and Sam. And one of the videos, one of them got TT'd, and I'm just like, that's just wrong, man. You did him so wrong. He got his hopes up, and Triff just gave that are you kidding me look on his face. Like, it was so sad. It was so, so, so sad. Um, I can't remember which video it was that I saw today, because I'm trying to catch up on some of their videos that they do, because I have started getting into watching their Duel Nights or Sam's Duel Night. So, again, shout out to Team Samurai X. For those of you that have not watched him yet, he's actually a really cool dude. He's actually pretty freaking funny. I'm not going to lie. That man cheers me up even on my worst days. Like, him and his crew. Excuse me. Him and his crew and his videos always make me laugh. They make, they make me smile. They cheer me up. And I also got told at work that Yu-Gi-Oh is gay. So I felt like semi triggered and offended by that. I'm just like, you jerk. <laughs> ah, the things I do for my favorite card game. Oh, hello. The new one, Marin says Coral Triangle, a link three. She's a new one. And she is, yes, she is one of the ultras in the pack. So that's cool. We packed her and another double fin shark. So at some point, we're probably going to be doing a shark deck profile at some point because I have most of the shark cards from the sets that came out. Because Brothers of Legend had a lot of new shark support stuff that came out. And I have like four boxes worth of those that I packed. Ooh, giant hand. Ooh, that's a big hand you got there. <laughs> people if your mind is not in the gutter just don't be here okay so we're just going to go with uh this one last three packs for this box ah please don't fall all right Kairu Shin. ah fudge okay we're getting greedy we're getting greedy um <laughs> I'm wanting to pack certain ones, of course. My goal is to at least attempt to get two droplets, at least. I want to pack at least two droplets. If I do that, then I'm pretty much happy and golden as golden is going to get. So, let's go! Leviathan, eh. I'll tell you what, this set actually has a lot of rares. I am not going to lie, but I like the fact how they balance out you get one super rare and a rare on occasions and then you have that one ultra rare that's like a money card or it's just like a cheapy oh the other new one agronaut she's actually really she's beautiful i'm not gonna lie dag nabbit me and jillian just made it official today <laughs> oh by the way yeah um the one girl you guys have met, heard me talk about, I don't know if you guys have paid attention in my other videos, where I was in the love triangle. I ended up figuring out who I wanted to be with, and her and I just basically made it official tonight on a, my on our Facebooks, so I'm quite happy. I can't lie. However, such and such words were said between me and someone else, but aside from that, it was unavoidable. Marin says sleepy maiden. Okay, that's it for the first first box guys so we're just going to put all these in here uh we'll put the rares on top supers in the middle and the ultras on the bottom because i'm very weird like that and i'm very particular with how i have my cards after i pack them because i would like to sleeve the certain ones that actually have rarity to them and the other ones are just bulk i mean don't get me wrong i love bulk and again, shout out to my buddy Caleb and his little brother, well, little big brother, Jensen. Um, he's like freakishly huge. Caleb's older and he's just like a foot shorter than him. It's it's kind of funny. But um, shoot, where was I going? Oh, okay. I was saying, because I love bulk so much. I remember when I was at a yard sale with my one buddy, for my buddy, because him and his sister were selling cards and all they had was mainly bulk. Caleb and his and Jensen both went with me and they're just like, I'm so disappointed. I thought he was going to have big money cards. And then my one buddy, Barry, straight up says, oh, all the expensive stuff we had, we sorted away from this and we only sorted the cheap stuff. 
So we all looked at each other like, Bruh, did he really just straight up say that? Like, uh, yeah, well, that happened. But anyway, that's done and over with. And because I spent 50 bucks on like two, 250 to 300 cards of bulk, they looked down immensely on me for it. Because me being me, I still see commons are as useful cards where everybody wants the shiny stuff that's expensive. Wait, I mean, don't get me wrong. I like my shiny expensive stuff. And, um, yeah. Don't get me wrong. Like I said, I like my shiny expensive stuff. But, um, even commons are just as good. Because I remember there was some decks I used to play. Ooh, another jellyfish. And, um, actually, screw it. Yeah. I'd like this. Actually, I'm trying to arrange this just right with the camera. Do this all just right. Commons go in the corner. But anyways, I was saying, um, commons are just as good as any higher rarity. Com higher rarity is just, they're a lot more pristine and very beautiful to look at. Because I know even the Starlight Rares, you guys have seen me pack before, or the Starlight Rare, I will admit. Ooh, Abyss Shark, hello. And, um, 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 yeah, I just favor commons a lot more because... They're cheap, of course, because I'm a cheap person. I had, again, my friend Mac made a comment tonight to me. He says straight up, I have expensive taste. I mean, it's not that I have expensive taste. It's just, I just got a lot of things going on in my life, and I prefer cheap things over expensive things. When I'm able to afford expensive things, I pay for them. But when I'm not, I, I wait it out. I, I suffer. I suffer on it, and I wait it out. So there is that as well. And I stay humble in my moments of wants over needs. And that, or, so in other words, I choose needs over wants. Because all this Yu-Gi-Oh stuff I've been wanting to get for a while. I've just had to put it on the back burner because of everything that's been going on. So, and of course, you guys have heard me talk in my videos. Like, I wasn't really the best doing the best financially. And now that I have a better paying job, that's... It's very hard, I'm not going to lie, and for anybody that watches this channel, or my channel, ooh, another spring girl, you're watching my channel, you're talking, hear me talk about the coal mine, yeah, it pays immensely well, and the inside joke is you go to the coal mine to become a millionaire when you retire, because there is a guy that owns a $1.5 million house, like, it's ridiculous, the amount of money you make over time there, the higher, and the long, you increase in pay, and the longer you stay there, but, it's not for everybody, like I said in the last video you guys saw, and hopefully you listened to me and not just watched the pet cards I was packing, because some people have a habit of doing that, and um, it's not for everybody. It's really hard work. It's extremely difficult, rough work, and it's to the point where sometimes I can't keep, I can't keep up with it, and I try my best, and... I'm in another spot where I can actually perform better, and I'm yet to find out how well I do with it tomorrow. And hopefully I do do well, because I really need I really need a job at this point for right now. That pays decent until I can find something better, maybe. But if I start to get better with the mines, then I'm definitely going to stay with it. And it's dangerous. It's even more dangerous than being... In the, well, in a sense, it's probably more dangerous than being in the military because you're always taking a chance every day of dying and being buried underneath thousands and thousands of tons of rock and boulders and everything else that can collapse on you at any given second. If somebody messes up or does one wrong thing with a piece of equipment, or if you're not careful, people will have to live with the guilt that somebody got ran over by this person because they were being stupid and not paying attention. Like... I've been hearing some of the stuff and even, for example, there was this one guy, he was very, I'm not throwing names out there and I'm not saying what mine this was at, but this was addressed to me because they had a big safety meeting about it, a bl uh, black hat, which is basically like the boss that you can go up to after being a red hat or a green hat if you're from that other state. Um, you go to black hat and you're basically a boss because you've got experience in the mine and your pay is definitely 
like $15 better as like a pay raise with depending what company you're with. But the one company is like a $14 or $15 pay raise to my understanding. And um, there was this kid. He was in his 30s. Well, technically a kid to some people because everyone else is like old as dirt and dinosaurs. <laughs> no offense. But, um, ooh, Ocean Dragon Lord Kairushin. That is an ultra. Hello, gorgeous. Um, but anyway, he didn't, he went to throw the switch for the man trip, which is basically your underground transportation vehicle that you use to get back and forth from certain places in the mines, because unless you want to walk half your shift to get to where you need to go and then do your work and then you walk back another part of your shift to get put in there and it's just like completely redundant and completely pointless but because this guy didn't throw the switch that changes the tr rail track the one guy was going so fast because he had so much weight on him he couldn't stop it in time and the one guy that didn't flip the switch right ended up getting ran over and crushed like a grape and he was dead right before they even got him up to the surface so like I said, it's a very dangerous job. It's a very stupid job. He had a family and everything. Like, he made one mistake and it cost him his life and he wasn't paying attention. So, when I say this job is not meant for everybody, it's literally not meant for everybody. Just like going into the military. Like, I mean, I'm just throwing it out there and I'm being realistic when I'm talking about this with you guys. Like, there's certain things you're good at and then there's certain things you're not good at. Like, for me... With the gaming stuff, the YouTube, well, to an extent with the YouTube, and with me opening up and just doing goofy stuff for you guys or just competitive gaming, like, that is my strength, that is my skill, that is something I am actually smart with and I know how to do, but better video content, I'm still learning how to do that, I don't even have the correct internet resources to even do the correct amount of content or even know how to do video content to upload because my mobile hotspot is what I basically use to connect into my computer and stuff. It's not strong enough. And when it uploads, it only takes up so much megabyte speed to the point where so much is used up and then it gets as slow as slower than a snail and you can't really do anything on it. Like I haven't even been able to log on to wizard one Oh one because my data slowed down so bad. It's horrible. So I replanted all of my freaking couch potatoes and my pot smoking magma peas. And um, yeah, it's 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 been a journey thus far. And again, once I get enough money caught up to where I can start affording for more things, I'm going to look into maybe getting crapped here. Because the other internet place supposedly doesn't want to come out to us because we're that one house that is out of range and they won't do anything for us. So it's just like a screw you to me. But every other house has it, which is ridiculous. And I live a mile down the road from a university. There's no way you can tell me you can't give me freaking Comcast because of just a certain area issue. Like, come on, y'all are... You all, y'all are on something stupid. Like, come on, don't BS me like that. But people are stupid, so therefore I accept the fact that I am surrounded by idiots, and I just bite my tongue and go the other way for the most part because I am a pacifist and I do not like creating problems for people and I do not like fighting people and I do not like having to hurt people. Like. I am very caring. You all know this. You've seen my video. For those of you that's been with me forever, you know me. I'm not one for violence. I don't get angry that easily unless you talk about something that you know is going to tick me off and I will go off on you. Ooh, Marincess died. That's a new one. Um, But yeah, just I hate being a violent person. I hate being angry. I hate getting upset with people. I hate, I hate, I hate getting violent. And that's just an ugly, ugly very distorted side of myself. I do not like having people seeing because it just bothers me. It scares me and it just makes me shake to the point where I can't even think properly. I can't even comprehend properly. And it just really messes with my head. Like this needs to stop. You need to stop doing this to me and you need to stop being a jerk to me. 
And I mean, there's a similar situation going on right now that I'm just dealing with and just biting my tongue about, just not really fighting about it. And again, I'm not saying names. I'm not saying what's being said, but is any other time I talk about, oh, hello, we got the triangle again. Um, and the last time I talked about a workplace, I got my butt chewed off for a few things, but that's beside the point. Oh, just words of the wise never work for Wendy's where you got people sleeping with managers to get more hours and better pay. Like, don't sleep your way to the top. That's bad, 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 bad morals. That is a bad aspect of what you should be in life. That is a horrible way of a human being to be. Like, that should not even be a thing. Dash night. Cool. And now, you work your butt off to get where you want to get in life. You don't take the easy way out just to get a quick buck or a quick promotion just because. Like, no. No. No, 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 no. We are not doing that. And... Yeah, it's it's a journey. Life is a journey, and the places you work is also a journey. It either treats you well or it treats you like crap. How you decide to go on that is entirely up to you and you alone, unfortunately. But here I am giving words of wisdom where I'm usually the one being real stupid. Oh, hello, we got another fortress whale. That makes two, three, four, five. That makes five. I think there's one more ultra. I could be wrong. Oh, wait. Forgot about the regular rare. Let me double check something. All right, so. One, two, three, four, five. Crap. Yeah, that was our five. So this box, we did not get another droplet. So even if we don't get a droplet, considering I have the money, ha ha ha, I could probably just order a third one. But considering me, I really don't play Droplet as much. Like, I I understand it's a good card, but I think it would be more of a card you would use for, like, Dark World, considering you have to discard cards. And I don't know if it's a timing thing with that, and that's why people don't use it in Dark Worlds. If they do, I've not seen any videos on it, because Dark Worlds is that one low-tier rogue deck nobody sees and it's not that good for now but until the new support comes out the deck is kind of just crap honestly and zoom from team samurai x loves dark worlds and my other buddy ed loves dark worlds no other deck is better than dark worlds he's that one guy that just he'll crap on you if it's not a dark world deck like he's a he's a jerk on that note but um all right guys that's it for the second box so we're gonna put these babies away. I can't say bad boys because you got mixed genders. Of course, we don't want to offend the gender snowflakes. Excuse me. And so on, so on. Okay, that's box number two. All right, let's get these put away. Then, let's go, guys. On to our third box. Halfway there, at the halfway mark. Eh. Eh. Will you rip already? Okay, it ripped. So, at the expense of this box being bent. I hate bending these boxes because they're actually cool to me. Um, oh, hello. Um, we'll go with the... Actually, no. We'll go with the left. Because women are always right, so you have to go with the left because us men are left if women are right. So, therefore, uh, yeah, we go off of that philosophy. Or at least I go off of that philosophy. Don't judge me. Uh, <laughs> but... Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm tired. I usually get up at 5.30 in the morning, but because of the time change with when we're supposed to go down each time now, I'm deciding to, like, not get up to at least about 6 o'clock or so. 
and then be out of the house by 6 30 because it takes me an hour to get back and forth sometimes 45 minutes if i hightail it which i try not to do but it sometimes happens unfortunately um okay we're seeing a bunch of the doubles because i think we packed almost everything except for the ghost rare if we were to pack the ghost rare i would be super happy i'm not gonna lie but who knows maybe if we start chanting for 101 he might appear and i think he's like a 45 dollar card i think right now still because he was a little higher but he went down in price because it's just not really popular and certain ghost rares are the most expensive because of what they can do and how popular they are because i think i the most expensive ghost rare is the um 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 um, um the elemental hero rainbow neos misprint of where it's supposed to be chaos neos and they misprinted the crap out of that so therefore that is probably the most expensive misprint ghost rare that i know of to my understanding if there is another one do correct me on that um in the comment section below of course but i'll probably have to research it after the fact and hopefully this video uploads in time during the end of the night or in the morning so that way i won't have to worry about it when i go to work i can just know my video is up it's for all of you to see it'll be sunday it'll be the last weekend day for people to check this out and so forth so forth i'm literally gonna have to go through a lot of these cards later and just start sleeping the crap out of them and i also need to get new binders because i think i'm gonna be running out of binders considering i've not even oh we got the third crystal shark awesome and um yeah it's this is a marvelous adventure yeah that needs work um okay oh hello we got her again i think this pack is talking to us guys we're to play the divas of the set the d -d diva like the the doza again shout out to team sam for actually it was either Sam or c -Rex that started that Dooza thing. Like, I can't remember off the top of my head. I've watched all those guys so much. It's just, I forget who says what anymore. It's kind of interesting. But I will... Oh my gosh. I have to call this guy out in the Duel Knight episode. Because he completely butchered the one boss monster from GX. Ooh, Kairu Sheen. Awesome. And uh, he completely butchered... One of the reptile uh, snake monsters from the GX era of when Viper dueled Jaden. The monster, it's not Venomenon, it's Venomenaga. And Venomenaga. A Venomaga and Venomenaga, I think. The deity of poisonous snakes. Like, I have to look up. Because I actually can pronounce that name correctly. They butchered the crap out of it i got triggered each time like you guys do you really really mean to butcher this because this is really ticking me off like ah you guys like don't get me wrong i love sam i love trip i love um i like zoom i like milano and the new guy he seems pretty cool from the original dual knight cast and Jesse and all of them, they're all really cool. But the fact you can't pronounce one card correctly, actually, no, correct, I'm correcting myself, two cards correctly, Venomenon and Venomenaga. It's Venomenon and Venomenaga. Get it freaking right. Ah! I swear if Team Sam ends up watching this video and they hear me vent, they're probably like, dude, chill. I'm sorry. I'm very particular with my cards. I very precise when it comes to the pronunciation of some of these cards so i don't know i think it's an i don't think it's an adhd thing but i'm very 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 particular with how you speak about these cards because if you don't say it right it greatly agitates me i don't know why it just always has oh seventh ascension nice 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 so this is basically a very interesting very 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 interesting setup for where sharks and marincess are calling out to us of course but the fisherman deck i'll probably have to look into that because not gonna lie fisherman is actually a pretty cool deck and i do remember he was a very powerful boss monster back in the day because if you had the umi field spell out on the field 
that guy couldn't be targeted for spells for nothing. He was basically the spell version of Elemental Hero Wildheart, who is completely trap immune without having to set anything. It just says on his card, this card is unaffected by trap cards. You want to bottomless it? It, it don't work. You want to trap hole? You, you can't do it. You want to tribute three uh, wild hearts? Uh, yeah, same result. Don't be redundant. And um, yeah, like... The things I've seen certain people do in duels, it just kind of astounds me. However, I kind of did the same thing to see if it would even work. But, of course, since card literally says, and I pulled a Farfa, and I'm just like, I did not read the card. So, therefore, my my brain said, ha ha, screw you, I made you look dumb. I'm just like, I freaking hate you right now. Ah! So it's like one of those moments, basically. So anywho, here we go. Last set for the right on the third box. Hopefully you get something good, fellas. We got two more ultras and a couple more supers left. Oh, we end up pulling the other one. Awesome. Awesome. Common. Here we go. All right. Hopefully we get another droplet or at least uh, number 101 because, again, 101 is very essential. Well, is, but isn't because I have him as an ultra rare copies and super rare copies in my binders. So if I wanted to build a turbo 101 deck, I could easily make it. But then again, it's a shark deck on top of that. And I know I have a bunch of other shark cards that are Xyz monsters. And then you got number 73, Abyss Splash, because Abyss Splash is boss. Ooh, Fortress Whale. That makes the fourth ultra. Let's see what we got, guys. If we can pack everything in this set, I will be super happy. But the only one we've not packed yet is um, Honor is Honor Arc, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, though. But at some point, I'm probably going to be doing a deck video of all the Rage of Raw booster boxes at some point because I really want to build a Winged Dragon of Raw deck because it's the only Egyptian God deck I do not have completed yet. And uh, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to build the certain decks I like, and Winged Dragon of Raw is technically meta. It's more of a competitive rogue deck at best, just because of all the crazy shenanigans that deck can do. Like, he can steal your life points to boost his power, he can sacrifice a freaking orb just to have solid 4,000 power, and then... Take your life points to make him gain attack points. So it's just like never ending. And then you have the, the ball form, which basically is a kaiju to your opponent's field, sacking all three of their monsters to play it. And on your turn, you get it back. And then special summon Winged Dragon of Raw. And at the end, if anything happens to Winged Dragon of Raw, you also have Winged Dragon of Raw Phoenix, mo Phoenix mode. So therefore, no matter what, you always have an annoying flaming chicken to deal with that is just straight up annoying to get rid of to even do anything with and then when you get the field spell mount the bound creator every time you destroy an opponent's monster it gets destroyed and therefore i think it's also immune from card effects i could be wrong correct me if i am i'll have to look that card up again at some point what the frick just happened um Okay, yeah, that happened. Whatever that was. Uh, okay. And then you got Slifer, who just basically is very deck consistent to where you need to constantly draw cards to keep his attack power high. Because if you don't have the cards in hand, his attack is going to suck. And the way I have my budget version variant of Slifer is very set up to where you have so many supply squads and every time your monsters get punished, you get plus draws which is nice and then you have extra back row to stall and draw for more power and then just swing for game if you can manage to wipe out the board with the thunder force strike attack spell which only works if slifer is on the field and what that does is it just destroys all your opponent's monsters and then draw cards for that many monsters you destroy so therefore regardless slifer is going to keep getting a thousand points for every card you destroy on your opponent's field now, however, if you control only, if they control one monster, use one card, all he's getting is just those thousand points back. Like, there's no point in it. It's just kind of, yeah, it just is kind of there. It's it's dumb. 
But, um, yeah, that is that. Oh, come on, give us something good. And we got Abyss Shark. I think that's our second or maybe third one. I don't remember. But that's all for our Ultras. I think we have one more super left. I could be wrong. But, eh. A whale of a tail. I remember watching Mako for the little Karibo abridged Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh my gosh. He's dating the ocean. Who in their right mind dates an inanimate object that does not listen to you and you really can't do anything with? And it's just like, it's so stupid. It's so stupid. It's funny though. And then he just throws harpoons at people because he has no other way to deal with his problems. Ooh, we got the last one. I think it was the last one. <laughs> he just throws harpoons at people because he doesn't know how to deal with his problems besides just spearing people. <laughs> I'm just like, ah, poor grandpa. Grandpa got speared, which was absolutely hilarious. Ah, I actually have a heart attack, though. <laughs> he got heart attacked by a spear. Oh my gosh, that's just so freaking funny in my ass, in my mind. But um, yeah. Then it's probably gonna be about two o'clock till I go to bed because I'm going to get me a big freaking bowl of lasagna that my mother is actually cooking. I think she is, and then she's got a uh, pineapple upside down cake, which of course is heaven in your mouth, of course. And that's it for our third box. We did not get another droplet. We are struggling for this droplet, everybody. Like, this droplet does not want to be packed by us. To the point we're going to have to order some more boxes. But considering this set is like dirt cheap, it's 30 bucks a piece on freaking TCG Player right now. I may consider getting some more of this on top of the new tins that are going to be released. So I got some goals I'm wanting to fulfill with this at some point in time and then i need to get my freaking savings account reopened because because again me not having the best job i couldn't keep money really in my savings account so therefore i'm locked out of the savings i need to get it reactivated on my next pay at some point or whatever see if they'll activate it without needing to give them the 50 bucks so yeah knowing my luck i'm gonna have to pay it anyway all right Team Samurai X, Team APS, Triff Gaming, and all the other Yugi tubers. I don't know the Yugi tubing Yugi tube names too. And Konami gods, Yu-Gi-Oh gods, allow us to pack what we need to pack from this set. If we do not, we will take it with a grain of salt and swallow our pride. Okay, let's get to opening this. Alrighty, so last box. Hopefully we get something out of this. If nothing, then we can all say we tried. We tried. Oh, no. I about knocked that box over. Oh, I'd have been mad. I'd have been real mad if I did that. You probably would have heard me uh, fully cussing at that point, guys. Yeah, I'll just give hints of certain bombs. Like, you stupid bleep, bleep, you bleep, you mother bleep, you bleep, you are bleeping bleep. Mother bleep, freaking daddy bleep, doggy bleep. Like, pfft. I'd get really mad creative with the words I would want to say. Like, that's just me, though. All right, got. Oh, hello. What's this about? Some sleeves got mixed in or something. I have no idea. That's, um, odd for sure but uh yeah last box moment of truth let's get started okay our first rare please be a ghost rare please be a ghost rare if not we'll just accept it with a grain of salt because this is the sea world. This is the legendary duelist of the deep. And we got Coral Triangle Marinsus. Our first ultra rare. And then I don't know what the frick just happened. Because I think we might have packed something on accident. But because this is the legendary duelist of the deep. Everything is from the seawater. You got the Marinces, the evil looking waifus, and they all are a bunch of waifus. 
And then you got your sharks that want to eat on everything. Even them waifus, they just are so cute and tasty. You just want to munch, munch, munch on all of them. Munch, munch, munch. And then you got the legendary fisherman fishing up the shark that's munching on the waifus. I'm not right in the head. That was just all heat of the moment. Hello! That's quick. We got two ultras really quick right there. And I think we have all three of the main Marincess monsters we need, now that I think about it. And, uh, yeah, those are commons. Yep, guys, I think we might have accidentally packed in one of the Ultra Packs that was not supposed to be there. But, oh well, it makes our processing speed go a little bit faster, a little bit faster. Put the pep in your step, because the pep needs a step. The webs, the gap, the dip, web, a oh, yep, a web. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just blurting out random crap. <laughs> oh, I'm tired, so my brain goes cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, as you guys are all fully freaking aware. And I just hope I can get some decent amount of sleep. Well, not, well, decent, not decent, if that makes any sense at all. Crystal Shark. Daedalus. Hey, what the? Oh, okay, we do have the Crystal Heart. I forgot about that. And then, there's supposed to be a new set coming out at some point in time where they have the G Golem monsters, which are the Earth Cybers monsters that Earth used from the um, Link Frame series. Like, I'm actually excited for that deck to come out because it's one Link monster is super boss. Like, it's lit. Like, I really want to own that deck. It is so cool. But considering it's anime-based, I know they're going to nerf a few of the effects. If they allow some of the effects to stay, it's going to be a, a freaking headache at most. But actually, when you think about it, if the antagonists were to use the actual competitive cards that we use in real life as of today, you can only assure yourself that deck or cards would not or that show would not last the way it is because it's all anime themed if you use actual meta cards for duels which i find to be absolutely hilarious because in freaking 5d or not 5d but uh arc 5 you have joshiro Ahiro bribing that one kid with a rare card and he ends up dropping ghost ogre or it was Ash Blossom. I think it was Ghost Ogre. He's like, forget your rare card. Keep it. You have that, but you never used it. Like, why? Why would you show these rare cards if you're not going to even use them? Like, where is the logic there? Please help me understand this. People in the comment section below, please explain this to me. Explain to me why we have to deal with such idiots and freaking Yu-Gi-Oh shows that can't really... Well... Excuse me. Use certain cards that we see and deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. However, the only other card I saw meta and brains was probably the infinite impermanence. Because as soon as freaking um, what's his face? That's his sister, or that's her brother. Um, the bounty hunter, bounty hunter guy from brains. Ghost Gal's brother, he basically infinite impermanence his sister to where they made a bet to where whoever won, they had to delete their Vrain's account or whatever it was. There's our third ultra. And um, he was, she was getting ready to delete it, but she made the comment about what his dad said that he never got to know. And it was mainly his mother he stuck with. There was just a whole lot of messed upness in that whole episode like there was some serious family issues they needed to get resolved and um yeah he ended up finding out the truth and then he didn't have her delete her account he just let it go it was very very interesting and then on his last goal where he ends up getting digitized by lightning of course he ends up confiding in his sister saying she's allowed to call him by his real name and so forth so forth and it's just a very emotional 
episode. Like, oh, come on, you finally made peace with your sister, and this is how they do you. That is just messed up. Reigns is honestly... Well, aside from the OG Yu-Gi-Oh, Reigns was probably the more sadistic side of things, to be honest, when you think about it with the certain scenes they had going on, because regular Yu-Gi-Oh, of course, every time you died, you got, you went to the Shadow Realm, which basically implies you died, so, in other words, it was just, regular Yu-Gi-Oh had so much dark, 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 dark stuff to it that nobody really caught on or catched on, might I say, and then your best friend gets sent back and back to the past, to be a pharaoh when he could have just stayed inside. <laughs> oh my gosh, there is so much wrong with that sentence too. Like, if no one caught that, like, when you think about it, Yugi was secretly, he was a secretly, he was secretly a closet boy for the pharaoh. Let's all be honest here. You wonder what happened, you would wonder what he did to him when he would sleep at night. <laughs> ah, I don't wonder why. He ran so fast or ran weird. Oh man, my mind is so not in the best appropriate place right now. Ah! And this is why I don't label my videos as kid appropriate because certain things I say does get taken the wrong way and people do get easily offended because they're a freaking snowflake that can't take a joke. And again, Karens are Karens. Nobody likes a Karen. If you're a Karen, just get off my channel. Like... No, I don't like you. That toxic femininity on my channel. Just go. Ooh, I think that's a fourth one. All right, guys. We got one more ultra rare left. Or secret rare, vice versa. Can we do it? Can we pack another droplet? Or can we get the honor arc? If we don't, well then, we don't. And we swallow it with a grain of salt. Well, we don't swallow it with a grain of salt. We take it with a grain of salt, then we swallow our pride. I got that backwards. Uh. So, almost done. Marinza Spring Girl. Yeah, I got multiple copies of certain ones. So, Sharks and Marincess, definitely we are going to be playing. But, again, I don't have the Ghost Rare. I might decide to pick it up at some point when I start saving up a few more paychecks. And, um, also speaking of that, I straight up told my mom... That she's going to have a better birthday this year because of just all the money I'm making at this job. And I really want her to have the best birthday possible. So I might have to ask him if I could have a day or two. Oh, a certain day off. And then it just leads into a weekend day to where I can just take it off and spend the other day with her. Because six days a week, I hardly see anyone in my family. Because as soon as I get home, I go, I take a shower and I go straight to bed. Sometimes I don't even take a shower and I go straight to bed because I'm just so tired. I don't even want to freaking stay awake. And I just crash. I crash hard. It's like horrible, guys. Like, that's just how freaking exhausted I am. Whew, almost there, guys. I'm sweaty. Starting to get sweaty in my fingers here. Like, are we going to clutch up? Dang it, we didn't get anything in this pack. All right, I swear if we get gypped, I'm going to be real ticked about that. I'm not going to lie. Ah, of course, it's just another Ultra 7th Ascension. So, we didn't get the droplet, we didn't get the arc, so, it is what it is for right now, guys, we didn't get the other expensive stuff that we wanted, so, you can't always get what you want, but you try sometimes, but you get what you need, right now, oh yeah, Last pack, uh, we already know it's nothing good at all, so, <sighs> yep. Alrighty, guys, well, again, this was the Season 3 Legendary Duelist Duelist of the Deep um, box set. I am exhausted, and again, 
if you guys are looking for a cheap box, three of these or four of these is like 130 bucks. Honestly, if you can afford that, or just at least 100 bucks for three boxes, you got enough cards here to build the deck. But if you're really wanting to gung ho for a certain deck, like again for the Marincess, the divas of the Cyber Universe, and uh, um, or just sharks because you have a thing for sharks, or if you just want to go straight up for a fisherman deck because you just love the original OG stuff, go for it. But yeah, I'm going to look into some more cards. I'm going to look into some of these decks and see what I can get figured out and maybe do another deck profile video for you guys. And I still got to do a branded Despia deck video for you guys. So anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Tell me your thoughts on this pack opening. Was it good? Was it not good? What did you guys think? And, um, would you guys like to see more in the future? Because again, I'm going to be opening a lot of tins when they come in. Because I got a lot I've got in mind to get. And so forth, so forth. And plus, I actually have a couple other decks I'm going to be ordering in that I'm going to consider putting on here for the channel. And also to own in real life because I've always wanted to own it. Or them, I should say. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. This is Hidden Angel Lionheart signing out. And um... It is Sunday, August the 28th, officially, technically, at this point. So, uh, yeah, y'all be safe, take care, and uh, have a good day. And good morning, wherever you guys are at in this world. So, till the next video. Take it easy. Later, guys.